Hello and welcome to the highlights of second one-day international between West Indies and Pakistan with West Indies having the chance to win this match and wrap up this three-match series in Karachi. Pakistan captain Nidadar won the toss and decided to bat first in the sunny and warm morning in Karachi. West Indies decided to field an unchanged side, whereas Pakistan included Umehani and Sadaf Shams for the first time in this series. A slip in place to start off for Kanel. Abdul Makid says, let's the, let the cricket begin. First run on the board on the very first delivery. Muniba could consider herself very lucky. No. Not for long. Not for long. And she's been castled. You feel that the justice has been done just a couple of deliveries later. And Henry deserved that wicket. Nicely driven. Does it have enough legs? Yes, it has. First boundary for Sidra Amin and Pakistan. We have to wait and see if Pakistan can do that. Might go for a boundary. It does. Off the bat of Sidra Amin. Sidra Amin. It's a good thing that she wants to attack Matthews because... This will be hard and again to the boundary, finally what she wanted to do and get that boundary for Pakistan. Three boundaries, no six. It's in the air, oh the head of the fielder. For a second I thought that's gone straight to the fielder but lucky Sidra Amin will get a boundary out of it. Midoff, Midon still in the circle. Oh, that's gone through. It's, just, it's beaten everyone. Wide signaled by the umpire. And they'll get four runs on top of it. So five runs coming through this delivery. Is that off the bat? That's the question. So we'll run down to five leg. Oh, great, excellent fielding. Brilliant. Commitment level. Runs given, I believe. Yeah, that's the 50 for Sidra Amin. Third was West versus West Indies. Fourth in Pakistan. And second at National Bank Stadium, Karachi. Fatma Sana to make some use of it. Swing the ball. Very close, very close. Given. She's trying different things from the few overs. But this time, not quite connecting. That's a big wicket. Yeah, I'm Come on. The three matches, routine. She was working very hard with coach Taufik. This one is hit up and over into the gap. Will it bounce away to the boundary? Yes, it will. It's in the air and has it carried? They're appealing and they're claiming the catch. Sadaf Shams is not moving, but she will have to go. Once again, West Indies break the partnership. A wicket at the wrong time, you'd feel that Pakistan has lost. But Sadaf will have to walk back. Didn't go for that flourish. There was no one in the deep. Nida does strike it very cleanly, though. That made a sweet sound off the bat. First boundary for the Pakistani skipper. Once again, swept, and this is clearly in the gap. A long, tall chase, but this should clear the boundary. Yes, it does. Second boundary for Pakistani captain, and the things have been moving along nicely for Pakistan. beaten the keeper and everyone will be a couple of runs here at least if they run well they could probably come back for the third and that is exactly what Bisma has done gone oh ho, ho, ho. she's got the captain run out my god you should know your partner she's struggling majorly for that third she's not as quick as you and what you've done it 
you have sent her back. Yes, Bismar Maruf was running brilliantly, but that was never on. A lot of sunshine between the crease and the bat. Krishma has done the magic, has removed the bales in the end. Pakistan paid the price for over optimistic and a bit too rash running. Brilliant use of feet and up and over. Just a couple of boundaries to clear the boundary. Oh, that should be out. That should be out. Again, trying that sweep shot from in front of the stumps. Does Ali Arias. That's wicket number five at 140. That's a good shot. That's a proper shot. Just moved away a little bit and uh, you could say inside out. Just created that room and space through that offside. In the air over the top. First boundary for Miss Bisma. Last 13 overs to go. Fatma Sana has pierced the gap. That will run away to the fence. Excellent footwork went right back in her crease. In doing all that, she maintained good balance. Goes for the sweep. Looks pretty straight. Yes, indeed. And the finger's gone up. Isma Maruf has a chance to get to her 50 now. As this ball will trickle into the fence. And that's 50 for Bisma Maruf. 50 number 21 for her. A firm sweep. She's timed it beautifully. And the placement is even better. Oh, that is brilliantly taken. You cannot keep her out of the game. Skipper Matthews. That's an absolute stunner. Should be, should be. Yes, it is. How many of them have tried a sweep shot from in front of the stumps? And the captain takes a wicket. Yeah, it was out the minute it struck the pad. That's Talking the about five other batters. That was just one. Well, a wild swing, and that produces the results. She can keep the strike for the maximum deliveries. Lucky boundary. They'll take it, no matter how they come. She's happy. She's not. It's four runs that matters for Pakistan. Contributing with the bat. Gives it a charge. This time, Haley Matthews won't make a mistake. And Pakistan's last wicket has fallen with uh, Najiha out for 25. And they managed 223 all out in the 49th over in the second ODI between Pakistan and West Indies. Pakistan were able to reach 223 runs with massive contributions from Bisma Maruf and Sidra Amin, whereas Najiha Alvi also played her part. Karishma Ramarak and Chanel Henry got three wickets each, whereas Effie Fetcher got a couple of wickets and Helio Matthews also contributed with a wicket. So West Indies will be in pursuit of 224 runs with a run rate of almost four and a half runs in an over. Let's see how their ratings will pan out. Plays the call. side and this has been would be more wary of running those singles agent dropped for a moment I thought she got hold of it it didn't go into the hands looking for an in swinger by the looks of it was indeed but nicely clipped beautifully timed no need to run for that Haley Matthews Ah, slightly uppish but safe. It was a little too full on that occasion by Sadia. Oh, nice. Nice shot. 
as if she knew what was coming in terms of length. How far down outside the crease she's standing, just meeting the ball early. Moved ahead in her game. She's always talented. Oh, that's the top edge. Should be taken. Should be taken, yes. 100 wickets for Nidadar, the captain of Pakistan. And Williams has to depart. She was trying to sweep one, gets a top edge. Big moment for Nidadar in the game. 100 in ODI wickets. Deep square leg and mid wicket and long on place for Ramehani. This will be a boundary to Campbell just to get her going. You want to watch something? Oh, what a brilliant catch! This might well be the turning moment in this game. That's a boundary there. So it's a boundary after a bit of a gap. Quite run rate of 5.33. Short and pulled away into the gap. Yeah, that's much of a release shot really. Just over that field up and gone for a boundary. That's a shot of a batter. West Indies rather are well in course. That run rate is not very challenging at all. That'll be another boundary in terms of the ballers to be used. Beautiful. Wide between the two fielders using the feet, Taylor. Oh no. Better effort was required. Southern Shams got to be stopping each and every run. That's a boundary given. Once again, a ball in the offside at the edge of the circle. But offered a freebie and no problem whatsoever for experienced Taylor to put that away for a boundary. That will be a boundary. A rare poor delivery in this spell by Thuba. That will be a boundary. Waited enough. It's 50 for Campbell. Well, she has been building this inning slowly and steadily. We're not sure. We'll just check and let you know. None for 47 were her figures. Yes, she is wicketless till now. Five overs down to 47. And that's a 50. Sipani Taylor, ninth 50 versus Pakistan, 41st in her career in ODIs. First 50 in Pakistan. And already has 100 here. It should be out. Yes, it is. The catch has been taken. She didn't quite get hold of it. And then a wide long on came into play and the catch was taken by Sadaf. She seems very composed right now. Oh, she's clubbed that with the pitch of the ball down to a deep square leg for a boundary. And then some excellent shot and cricket from Taylor cutting the ball in between two fielders. She was not poking at the ball. She went with a full swing of the bat and that created a heavy deflection. Yeah, down the leg. Oh, oh, given. For a moment I thought I could see the off and middle. Well, she's been given out. Pakistan has struck again. She's picked up. There is a fielder. There is a fielder, but that's gone all the way. Batting all-rounders. Full toss onto the pads. Tipped away very, very neatly for four. In the air and taken. Sadia gets Taylor. Ah, oh, poor bowling, poor bowling. 
You cannot do that. Ah! Fowler, beautiful bowling. That's where she needed to be early on in the over, but got it right. There is a fielder, there is a fielder. Yes, she takes it. We got the big one, Henry goes. Nidadar gets the fourth wicket of, of her spell. Finally, third, both inside the circle. Oh, she's picked them beautifully, but there is a fielder. And she takes it. Wicket you asked, wicket you got. But Mastana got, his, got her first wicket, and what a time to get. Here we go, final delivery. Edge, and that's gone for four. Oh my God, she is disappointed. I was so close. You could just say it wasn't meant to be for Pakistan. A thick edge. That was one of the gaps. And West Indies will take the victory. Stephanie Taylor top score for West Indies with 73 runs with heavy contributions from Shaman Campbell and Heli Matthews. And in the end, they went over the line only on the final delivery of the game. Nida Dar was the pick of the ballers with four wickets, a couple of wickets from Mehani and a wicket apiece to Fatma Sana and Sadia Akbar. So Pakistan gave a target of 224 runs, courtesy 65 by Bisma Maruf and a fighting 50 by Sidra Amin. Chanel Henry got three wickets along with Krishma Ramarek. In response, West Indies won this thriller only on the final delivery of the game and they now have an unassailable lead of 2-0 also over Pakistan. We hope you enjoyed the highlights of this game number two of the ODI series between Pakistan and West Indies. Hope to see you soon once again.